Hello and welcome back to this enchanting valley of Valsugana here in northern Italy. Today, more specifically, we're at the headquarters and the manufacturing plant of WLP, renowned worldwide for their dust, odor and sanitizing systems. Today, more specifically, we're going to have a look at the Demolitor 70, which consists of three parts, the base frame, the central body, which holds the electrical components and the cannon head. Come on with me, let's have a closer look. So we'll start with the base frame. As you can see, it's predisposed to be lifted by forklift. Uh, this is the trailer version, but there's also the option for the on-road version together with the license plate holder. As you can see here, we have a three-phase industrial plug, which runs on 400 volts and 50 hertz, or 60 hertz, depending on the country. So this is the trailer version with off-road wheels, but it's also possible to change it into the on-road version by taking this away and mounting a wheel here. Uh, the tow hook can be changed depending on needs of the car or truck that's going to tow the, the cannon uh, with a handbrake incorporated here, obviously. Then here within the frame, in this latest compact version of uh, the WLP systems, we have an integrated submersible pump, which runs on 2.2 kilowatts. Okay, the water flow uh, goes in through here and within this box we have an electrical uh, valve and a filter. The filter can be changed and cleaned. Then we have the central body of the cannon which holds the electrical components of the system. Here is the control panel which is uh, without a protection panel because it's within the frame and as you can see the control panel is simple. Here we have the fan, the fan and the pump the remote control is activated by this. The inclination of the cannon is controlled by these two buttons here. And then we have the possibility to manually program the cannon in its rotation. So basically we press set one in one set position. We move it to the second position that we decide. And we press set two and then we press the automatic button so the cannon can work in automation. So finally we get to the cannon head. This cannon head can rotate to maximum of 340 degrees. The inclination is only electrical and it goes from minus 10 degrees to plus 45 degrees. So the water comes up through this tube into this stainless steel crown, which is built using the flow drill system to guarantee that the nozzles have a perfect inclination. Okay, these stainless steel nozzles can be removed and changed to guarantee an easy maintenance. So within the cannon head, we have the fan motor, which runs on 11 kilowatts. So together with the pump, uh, it's a total of 13 kilowatts for the total system. As you can see, there are also those yellow fins, which are designed specifically to guarantee a maximum efficiency of the throw. Every time you turn on the system, it will make this noise. All you have to do is come to the other side and press this button and the system will go into an automatic electrical check to make sure that the systems, the electrical systems are working perfectly. If by chance this beeping continues, it probably means that you need to switch the phases of the industrial plug. So in this latest version of the WLP Canon system, um, the, to set up the rotation of the Canon is very, very simple and user friendly. All you have to do is lift this lever to the position you want, push this button for two seconds until you hear that beep, then lift the lever again to the final position of your choice and press set two for two seconds. Now the cannon has been manually programmed and can work automatically within the range that you set. So here we have the remote control. To activate the remote control, we have to first press this button on the control panel and the light turns on. Then we have to pull up this red cap here until we see the green, okay? Then we press the start button once and this little light starts blinking. When it starts blinking quickly, I'll press this again and we'll hear a little click inside the central body of the electrical system, which means they're connected. Now it's connected. So with this remote control, we can operate the cannon head from a safe distance. With this button here, we can control the inclination. 
with this one the rotation. Then we have the same buttons basically as the control panel. The fan, the pump, the automatic option and on and off. So that's it today from me and the Demoliter 70. If you want any other information, please do visit our site at wlpdust.com.